My name is Bill Welser, and I'm a, a member of the board of Habitat for Brevard. Uh, Habitat is a passion. Uh, all of you uh, that showed up today obviously showed up because you were either told to or, uh, or it's a passion. And if you were told to, we want to make you part of the passion because a community is made up of people and you're all making that possible. And probably most exciting for them is looking at the housing plan and deciding who's going to get which bedroom. <laughs> I'd like to introduce a few people. He gave a speech at the Pearl Luncheon. It was the second shortest oh. speech I have ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> you want me to come up now? Oh, okay. You can if you sure. like. Mike, come on up here. <laughs> With each and every opportunity that we have to be able to get together like this, we need to remember to thank a particular person. And that's, that's our Lord. So I'd like to have Corky come forward from the church and uh, say an invitation. Uh, we are grateful to have so many folks from Georgiana come out today and share in the first uh, week of the Habitat Build. I'm thankful for those who came out on Thursday. We've had great leadership, great volunteers. Uh, so no long-winded speeches. Um, let us pray and give thanks to the one who deserves it. Father, we give thanks for this uh, beautiful community, this beautiful town, uh, the Thomases, which are a beautiful family, uh, and for uh, the opportunity to serve you in this way. Father, we're, we're not under any illusions that any one of us individually could do this, but when collectively we all come together, we're the beautiful tapestry of your community and your people. And so, Father, we pray that every day that we're on this property, that it is for your glory and your glory alone, uh, that it is not for ours, not our ego, not our, uh, not our sense of achievement at the end of the day, just that we were able to stand in the gap and help someone else. So, Father, thank you for uh, Georgiana and its vision. Uh, we're so grateful to be in the Cambridge community, a community we've been involved in for the last six years. Uh, so, God, thank you for knitting that together and placing the Thomas family right here. Uh, it's in your son's precious and holy name we pray. Amen. For, for being out here today because we all believe in one thing, and that one thing is called sweat equity. We are our brothers and sisters keepers. Together we as a team can accomplish great things. Believe in being a good neighbor. And we're all in this together. Even though we may come from different tribes, we belong to one race. That's the human race. And we all are God's people. Starting with uh, district number one, my representative, Clarence Whipple Jr. Would you come on up and bring him on with a round of applause? Do something like this for people is just fantastic. I appreciate it. I believe this is the first one in District 4. Yes, sir. Go, go. We can turn destruction into a blessing for somebody. And isn't that what we're getting ready to move into, the Easter season? That's right. When you take the horrors of what happened on the cross, and yet it turned into a wonderful salvation story for each and every one of us. So we thank first and foremost the donor of the house that was here that we tore down to make room for this new house. Your daughters work very hard. Five hours in our education class. So every Thursday for two hours, the family comes and we do Dave Ramsey's financial piece. So it teaches them about money management, about how to go about planning for the future. They've had to do 50 hours on another family partner's house, joining in the community. And they've had to do another 25 hours out at another nonprofit besides Habitat to get to this point. Also, our, our homeowners have to have a $1,400 down payment. So she's had to have at least $700 down to be offered this property. So she's had to do that all before within the year. All she wants to do is say, I am a homeowner. Yay! So welcome to the Habitat family. To the Thomas family from Georgiana, God bless his home, God bless you, and may the best of luck be with you. I just want to thank everyone. First of all, I want to thank God, because it's truly a blessing for myself and my family. Um, as Ms. Charlotte said, myself and my family have been through a lot over the last four years. Um, 2007, I lost my father and I was diagnosed with brain aneurysm. 2009, I lost my husband. And 2011, I lost my mom. So this is truly a blessing again, and I want to thank you all. 
so much. Hand this up and hand the top to you. Somebody come over here and test it. Get a hold of it. Go down about waist high. We'll pick up this side. Using our back, not our legs, right? Now we have to go 180. So go in a circle here. We dancing? Okay. Now. I'm going to bring this up to the wall here, so you that are going backwards, please walk slowly. Set it all down, all the way on the ground. See, Wendy, you said give out good orders, man. Now, the people that are on the ground here, back up. One of you put your foot on it like this. There you go. Not underneath it, on top. We're going to stand this up. Go ahead. Come on. Right down on top. I think the mayor could have done it on his own. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. more. Now, don't let go of this wall yet, please. <laughs> Just hold on to it, because now we want to say a few things. We, uh, we want to take a moment to bless this wall. And, uh, had I known that uh, Mike would have all the deep-pocketed politicians out today, we'd have passed the plate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's never too late, sir. It's never, so too late. never too late, brother. It's never too late. Never too late. Ask That's God to part with what you don't need. So, uh, uh, we, we're just so blessed to be a part of this. We're thankful for the space of the Haber. It takes lots of hands, lots of volunteers to, to make it happen. I, I want Pastor Dave to come and bless his home and bless his family. Father God, you just tell us that of all the laws and the prophets that two things bring true, that we're to love you and love our neighbor. And I cannot think of a better way to love on a family than to provide them shelter. So God, just uh, the hearts that have been attached to this through Habitat and this community and the church, uh, just praise you for the love that is pouring out in this place today. God, I pray that you would put a hedge of protection and safety over this construction project as it moves forward. And I pray blessings on this family as they eventually move into this home, God, that they would always know you and know that this happened because of the faithfulness of those who love you. And so we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't let go. Don't let go.
you all uh, push it over to us. Watch the tree here. Watch the stuff, watch the stuff. Line up on the bolt there. Line up on the end, Steve. Yeah. 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 Yeah.